having a nice time? Yes. Do you want to be a swashbuckler and have a swashbuckling life? Yes. Then learn, let's learn some lessons from the ancient story of Mahabharata, whose lessons are even practical today. In the whole city of Hastinapura, in the Kuru clan, they lived two sets of cousins. The Kauravas and the Pandavas, who had a very wise Guru, Guru Dronacharya. Now the eldest of the Kauravas was Duryodhana and the eldest of the Pandavas was Dharmaraja. He was also called Yudhishthira. One day, Duryodhana, Duryodhana, Duryodhana called Dharmaraja, Guru Dronacharya called Duryodhana and Dharmaraja and said, I have an assignment for both of you. Who will carry out the assignment first? Duryodhana thundered. I am the eldest of the Kauravas. I am the eldest of hundred brothers. I will carry out the assignment first. Guru Dronacharya then told him, Tathastu, Duryodhana, go and find me one positive, one good person in the whole city of Hastinapura. Duryodhana, immediately took up on his white stallion. He went from door to door, from pillar to post, interviewing each and every person. He came back after a week, dejected, and submitted to the Acharya. Acharya, I travelled the whole week in the city of Hastinapur. I could not find a single soul who is good and positive. I found bad in everybody. You gave me a very difficult task. Duryodhana then summoned Dharmaraja and said, Ayushman Bhava Yudhishthira. I'll give you a relatively easy assignment. I want you to go in the city of Hastinapura and find one bad and negative person. Yudhishthira left and after a week came back dejected and dismayed and submitted to the Acharya. Acharya, I'm sorry to say, I could not find a single person who was bad. I found good in every person. Durindana then replied, This is the difference between the two cousins. It's the attitude. If you have a positive attitude, you always see positives in person. If you have a negative attitude, you always will see negatives in a person. He further said, Yat bhava, tat bhavasti, which in other words means, you see what you focus. If you focus on the positives, you'll always see the positives. If you focus on the negatives, you'll always see the negatives. So what must we focus on? We must focus on positives and strengths of every individual. Let's see how this lesson is useful to us in this age. We are told we all have strengths and weaknesses. So what do we focus on? We must focus on our strengths. When we focus on our strengths, we increase our self-esteem. We become self-confident. This changes our life and we are able to work in teams. When, see, when we see the differences between each other,
other communities and cultures, what do we develop? We develop three important values required nowadays. Peace, tolerance, and harmony. Next week, he again summoned the two cousins and they told them, look here opposite my house, Dronacharya and Yudhishthir. There are two huts. By nightfall, I want both of you, the Pandavas and the Kauravas, to fill up the two huts completely before nightfall. The hundred Kauravas ran helter skelter to fill up their hut. And what did they fill up their hut with? Leaves, trees, hay, stacks, and they fitted their huts with all these things, whatever they got by the night before. On the other hand, the Pandavas just sat down quietly contemplating what they should put their hut. When the sun was about to set, Guru Dronacharya first went to the Kauravas and Duryodhan told him, Look Guruji, we have finished filling up the hut. There is no space at all. Guru Dronacharya entered the hut and put his hat and across the hay and told Duryodhana, You have filled up the hut. But they are still making places in the way it's not completely filled. He then went to the Pandavas. And what did he see? In the Pandavas' hut, it was all dark. So he got angry. Yudhishthir, why have you not obeyed my command and my assignment? Why have you not filled up the hut? Great humility, you should say. So, we are waiting for you.